Please walk with me now. My name is Nikos Panagopoulos, and from what I hear, I owe you a debt of gratitude. The situation has now changed. I will let Commander Stavru share the details, but let me say it is good news. We together are determined to change the status quo. Ever since our legitimate government was overthrown, we have waited for such a day. Thanks in part to you and, of course, our British friends, over all these years, we are much closer to being able to do that. So thank you, Corporal Carey. Now come. Stavro will debrief everyone. <laughs> Carrie, great job bringing Nikos home. It's a real game changer. Stavro wants to debrief us now. You ready? Brothers, join me in welcoming Nikos home. With him back at our side, the return of a legitimate government is a little closer. While it is unfortunate that our British friends could not be here themselves to celebrate this victory, there are more pressing matters at hand. Nikos has brought new information. Although we are still trying to verify his intel, we now believe that NATO is ready to launch an invasion. Miller and his team have already moved north. Their objective is to watch enemy movement and, if possible, establish contact with NATO command. So, while we do not know any specifics, only one target makes sense. The main airport, which operates under joint CSAT AAF control. We will watch the situation carefully and prepare to make our own strike when the moment comes. Our target will be the AAC airfield to the south, operated entirely by the AAF. We will draw the bulk of the AAF from the defense of the main airport, leaving NATO to deal with CSAT. This is where the tide turns, brothers. We are stronger than ever before. An end to our struggle is finally within our grasp. Let us not waste it! Jesus, just look at what we have left. 
So few weapons, such little ammunition. Thank you. 